And we must show seriousness. There's a growing disparity between rich and poor. It gets worse every single year. And I think we've all just had enough of it. And I guess that's why we're all here. All money is issued at debt. When the government issued money, it gets it from the Reserve Act at interest. That means there is always more money owed than there exists, which means they need to go back and get more money at more interest at some point this breaks down it's not going to work at that point companies even countries need to be bailed out it's just the system does not work and by standing here together we're showing the world that we're not prepared to let this go on anymore we are not about each other's race or gender this is about greed and if you feel imposed by greed, then stick with us. Let's fight it together. If I'm interacting with someone on the basis of money, I need to get from them as much as possible, and they need to give to me as little as possible. Our interests are opposed. Yes. Yes. How can we be a communal society when this is the basis of most of our interaction? We want to make our voice heard about unemployment. We want to make our voice heard about the climate change. We are going to educate our communities where we are coming from. But this movement, the small steps that we've taken today, will only become bigger when we as a group can enlarge our numbers and as in America demand the attention of the trade union movement and if we can come together even with this small number of people here today we can shift things we are gonna get ourselves ready uh, for union building i say we come here next week and we keep supporting the americans hashtag occupy south africa as much as possible so that we can at least unite in the following so I'm proposing we come here next Saturday morning, 8 o'clock again. We build for that. We've got a week to do that. And we come here in numbers.